Good morning, students. Today we shall do the chapter nine, that is logical reasoning. In this chapter, you have to analyze the questions given in this chapter logically and find the answer. So here is the exercise given in the chapter nine. Seeing these questions, you have to analyze logically. and find the answer and here is the first question in this question you have to analyze logically this sequence is sequence ko analyze karna hai and you have to find which of these will replace has aapko pattern ko pehchanna hai and then you have to find the answer which of these will replace So let's see how this pattern goes. So first here is the letter G. G after G which letter comes H and after H which comes after H comes I and I after I it comes J. Okay children. Now see the second letter. Two letters after A is C. Just leave one letter after A and write second letter. So A. First is A, leave second letter that is B, and then comes C. A के बाद B को छोड़ के C लिखते हैं. A के बाद A छोड़े C लिखी. C के बाद A लिख छोड़ देते हैं. तो क्या C के बाद D छोड़ेगी? कौन सा लेटर आएगा? E. So second letter will be E. And E के बाद इधर हम एक छोड़ देते हैं. E के बाद F. F को छोड़ के आगे क्या आएगा? G आता है. तो second then comes G. Now children in N. N after N there is Q. There is the difference between these two letters three. The position of 19 is 14. Alpha between the n ka position jo hai wo 14 hai aur q ka position 17 hai. There is difference of three letters. So 14 plus 3 17 and 17 plus 3 what will what which letter comes? T. The position of T is 20. So n is on N is at 40th position, Q is at 70th position, and T is at 20th position. When you add 3 to 20, it will be it will become 23, and the position or at 23 comes double. So the answer is I E T. So I E T is the answer, and the D will be the answer I. E T D is the answer of this question. Okay, child. Now second question. How many consonants? You know consonants? Uh, there are uh, five vowels in alphabet and rest are consonants. So how many consonants appear immediately after a vowel but not immediately before a vowel in the word? Is word me? कितने ऐसे कॉन्सोनेंट्स हैं जो भावल के जस्ट बाद तो आते हैं लेकिन भावल के जस्ट बिफोर नहीं आते लेट्स सी पैसा फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल फाइंड आउट व्हिच आर वॉवल्स इन दिस लेटर इन दिस वर्ड के कौन कौन से वॉवल्स हैं सो फर्स्ट वॉवल इज यू आई एंड ए यू ई कोई छोटा तो नहीं आई वन Two, three, four, five, six, seven. In this letter, there are seven vowels. You have to see which vowel, which consonant comes just after vowel. वैसे कौन से consonant हैं जो just vowel के बाद आते हैं, but not just before vowel. तो this letter. कम्स ये जो सी है कॉन्सोनेंट है ये वॉवल के जस्ट बाद आता है बट वॉवल के जस्ट बिफोर नहीं आता है तो एक ये हुआ एक कॉन्सोनेंट सेकंड इज दिस एन इट कम्स जस्ट आफ्टर आई बट नॉट जस्ट बिफोर एन वॉवल नॉट बट जस्ट नॉट बिफोर ए वॉवल सो सेकंड कॉन्सोनेंट इज एन नाउ आर This R also comes just after a vowel and not just before a vowel. So third consonant is this and I. This also comes just after U and does not come just before a vowel. So four letter. But this N comes just after a vowel but also comes just before a vowel. So there are four consonants which. Uh, appear in a 
immediately after a vowel but not immediately after a vowel okay children so answer is o one that is m r l and a c and r and l kon kon se le kon se le se c and r and l now move on to the third question if yesterday is the day before yesterday or saturday saturday ke day before saturday kaun sa hoga that will be thursday saturday ke pichle din ke ek din aur pehle kaun sa din hoga saturday ke ka yesterday kaun hua friday aur friday ka yesterday thursday so uh, if yesterday is the day before yesterday or saturday yes day before yesterday of saturday is thursday and what is given here if yesterday jo piece pehla din hai jo bita hua din hai wo kaun sa din hai that is thursday and what day is day after tomorrow yani ki pehle aaj aaj jo bhi din hai usse kal ka din kaun sa tha wo thursday tha so it means today is friday the so which day is day after tomorrow आज कल के बाद कौन सा दिन टुडे इज फ्राइडे देन विच डे विल कम जस्ट आफ्टर टुमारो दैट इज संडे नाउ हैव यू गॉट इट इमरान लाइक्स टू ईट एप्पल्स इमरान क्या लाइक करता है एप्पल लाइक करता है एंड ऑरेंजेस इमरान लाइक्स टू ईट एप्पल एंड ऑरेंजेस रणवीर लाइक्स टू ईट बनाना एंड ऑरेंजेस इमरान एप्पल एंड ऑरेंज पसंद करता है रणवीर बनाना और ऑरेंज पसंद करता है सुरेश लाइक्स टू एट ऑरेंजेस ओके रमेश एट्स ओनली एप्पल्स विच फ्रूट इज लाइक बाई ओनली वन पर्सन कौन सा ऐसा फ्रूट है जो सिर्फ एक के द्वारा पसंद किया जाता है इमरान एप्पल्स और ऑरेंज किया रणवीर बनाना एंड ऑरेंज ऑरेंज तो ये भी किया तो ये ऑरेंज नहीं होगा बनाना Suresh likes to eat oranges. Oranges यहाँ भी है, यहाँ भी है, तो ये भी नहीं होगा. So Ramesh eats only apples. Apples is also here. So which fruit is the is liked by only one person? So the only fruit left is banana. So answer is banana. Now the fifth question. Romi is taller than Rachel but shorter than Ranchu. Amit is taller than tarin but shorter than rachi who is the shortest of them all so let's see what the question says rani is taller than ras rachi rani suppose rani is taller than rani is taller than rachi okay rachi but taller than but shorter than rancho yani ki rani shorter hai rancho se rancho So who is the tallest among these three? Rancho. Now Amit is taller than Tarin, but Amit is taller than Amit. जो है Amit taller than uh, Tarin. Okay, Tarin is taller than. Then uh, Amit is taller than Tarin, but shorter than Rach Rachil. But ये Amit जो है Rachil से shorter है. यानी सबसे बड़ा कौन हुआ? Rachi, Rancho, then Rani, then Rachi, then comes Amit and then Tarin. So who is the shortest of them all? Who is the shortest? Hai? That is Tarin. Tarin B is the answer. Now, question number six. In certain languages, if horse is written as J M T Q Z. Then how will tiger be written in the same language? First, you have to find the pattern. How this goes? This. ये ऐसा ये letter इससे कैसे बना? Then you after finding the pattern, you have to answer the question given here. So first, let's see the question. Here is H and J, and H is. एच इज एट द एट पोजिशन एंड जे इज एट द टेंथ पोजिशन यानी कि दो पोजिशन आगे गया है फर्स्ट लेटर गोज टू पोजिशन पहला जो है टू पोजिशन आगे गया प्लस टू 
Next comes O and N. A, uh, o is at 15th position and M comes at 13th position. Second letter में क्या है? Just minus 2 हुआ. ये 15th position पे है और ये 13th position है. Again, R. It is at 18th position. ये 18th position पे है and T 20th position. Again, plus 2 गया है. Then, S. S जो है, then S is at 19th position. Q is at 17th position. So, the pattern is, first you have to add plus 2, then minus 2, plus 2, minus 2. Now, T is at 20th position, 20th position. This is position pair. Us me 2 add karenge 22, 22nd position hoga. And which letter comes at 22nd position? That is V. So, letter, first will be, first letter will be V. Now, second, I. Plus 2 ki ab kya kahi? Minus 2. I is at the 9th position. When you mark, when you subtract 2 from I, it comes 7. And which letter comes at the 7th position? That is Z. So, V is Z. The second letter will be Z. Now, V, G and G is at 7th position. And you have to add 2. If you add 2 to 7, it will come 9. And who is uh, which letter is at 9th position? Kaun sa letter 9th position pe hai? To I. So, this will be, this, here is given C. So, this will not be the answer. This V, Z, I. This will be the answer. Because V, there is, uh, in other option, no uh, B, Z, I. There is no V, Z, I. So, this is, uh, this is the correct answer. We won't go ahead. Hame isi position per si point per answer mein kya. So, हम आगे नहीं बढ़ेंगे सीटी के पैटर्न को नहीं जानेंगे तीन से ही हमारा आंसर मिल गया नाउ सेवेंथ क्वेश्चन माय फर्स्ट लेटर इज इन रन रन में मैं मैं जो भी हूं उसमें उसका जो फर्स्ट लेटर है वो रन में बी केयरफुल रन इन रन माय फर्स्ट लेटर इज देयर बट नॉट बट नॉट इन फन बट वो लेटर मैं जो भी हूं जो मेरा फर्स्ट लेटर वो फन में नहीं है so, U and this may be a U and this may be any cause are near the R near. So, the first letter is R. Now, my second letter is in pot. My second letter is in pot, but not in put. Pot or put may be common letter like P and T. P and T. So, second letter is O. So, first letter is in the second letter is in the R. O. Now, my third and fourth letters are in C. Sit में मेरा third और fourth letter है, but not in M O A T. इसमें देखिए, ये common है, ये common है, ये common है, ये common. तो बचा क्या? S C. So third letter will be S and the will be the S and the fourth letter letter will be E. So which word we get? So here is the answer row. So D is the answer. Okay. Now last question. One morning, Roshan and Varun were talking to each other face to face at a uh, crossing. A crossing where Varun or uh, Roshan face to face baate kar rahe the. Okay, children. Uh, if Varun's shadow was exactly to the left of Roshan, Varun ka jo shadow tha, wo Roshan ke left mein tha. Which direction was Roshan facing? Rasan tab, Rasan kis direction mein face kar raha tha? Dekho children, Rasan and Varun was talking to each other. One morning mein baat baat kar raha tha. And so where shadow forms? Where does shadow form? Just opposite to the source of light. Light source ki opposite pe. Suppose in the morning, uh, in which direction sun rises? In the east. To sun ka source of light, source of light kida hai? East direction mein. East mein source of light hai. East mein. To kis direction? Just opposite to the source of light. So, shadow kis direction mein banega? West mein. Shadow kis direction mein banega? West direction. Okay? Now, west direction mein. One morning, Roshan and Varun were talking to each other face to face at a crossing. If Varun's shadow, Varun ka jo shadow hai, was exactly to the left of Roshan. Ye west jo hai, Roshan ka left hai. Roshan ka left west hai. So, Rosh is direction face kar raha hai. Kaun sa direction hoga left mein? Jab 
it, it will happen only when Russian faces the direction north. When you are in north direction, west comes in the left. Left me west tabhi aata hai jab aap north ki or face kar rahe ho. So the answer is north. Okay children? That's it. Thank you.